So um, we've spent a lot of time with tower crews. I mean, these are the men and women that literally deploy this infrastructure. They put tools on their back, they clip harnesses onto their bodies, and they climb either 200 feet if they're swapping out a 4G antenna with a 5G antenna, or they're getting in a bucket truck and going up to a light pole in the middle of Washington, D.C. It's hard work, it's often gritty work, um, and these are solidly middle-class jobs with great career opportunities. The eye-popping statistic is that there are about 29,000 of these men and women actively working in the U.S. today. The industry estimates that with current and future demand, particularly as it relates to 5G, they can add another 20,000, nearly doubling their workforce. And again, the macro statistic is backed up by the anecdote at the, at the ground level. We've talked to crews big company in Texas that wants to hire 500 workers at one facility. We've talked to crews that are five guys that want to be 10. You know, people just want to double because the demand is so great. Now the issue is how do we get these workers up to speed and get them to safely deploy this infrastructure? My boss has been working with um, the National Wireless Safety Alliance and other stakeholders to look to community colleges as a way of getting these up and running. You know, a lot of Americans right now, they're saddled with student debt. They've gone for the four-year degree, and maybe it wasn't something they, they wanted to do, but they felt like that was their only option. There are worker training programs, seven to 12 weeks. You can, there's one in South Carolina that we visited at Aiken Technical College. You can do that program. Effectively, 100% of their graduates get a job offer from a tower company, either before or after graduating. Seven to 12 weeks. It's at a community college, which is important to us because that gives you uh, access to Pell Grants, to VA funding, and the social safety net associated with, with community colleges. Um, but companies are doing a lot to train their workers themselves, but there is a shortage, um, and there's a lot of focus now on how do we bridge that gap because you can allocate all the spectrum in the world, you can reform your regulations on infrastructure, but if you don't have human beings to deploy the infrastructure, it's not gonna happen. <laughs>